Ladies and gentlemen, Kei Kim here. Welcome to the daily update. Hope you guys had a good day trading today. Market is up about 3.2%. There, on the S&P, that's at 4.5%. Semiconductor 5.7. Dow almost to 2.5. Russell 2000 transport, banks, energy, biotech, healthcare, home builders, utilities, retail, emerging market, every single sectors are green today. Bitcoin, gold, silver miners are up quite a bit. Dollar down, oil love, treasure bond up. This is down about 6%. They are less stick with us if you found ETF. Spider! 65 minutes are here. So this is where we closed yesterday. And looks like on that first hour, we um, pretty much opened flat here, slight gap up. But you can see that micro term and the short term moving average we talked about on the last night's analysis that bulls need to get above it. However, the first hour, second hour, third, for about three hours or so, uh, you know, struggle underneath the micro term and the short term moving average after the Fed meeting and the investors and traders in the world, over the world, all over the world, uh, reacting positive way and with that bullish candle there on that fourth hour we were able to get above the short term and the micro term moving average and ever since then this market pretty much went parabolic America. The upside and with that move uh completely destroyed almost almost 70 percent of the uh you know boss bears headquarter here we've been talking about we've been observing this level since early to mid september we talked about the fact that bear boss bears are in this vicinity bears are desperately uh making sure that this level is protected if they wanted to survive well you can see with the today's move here let's do a little bit of maintenance not only this down gap is filled that down gap opened a couple of days ago but that mid-september uh big down gap uh is now filled not all of it though as you can see about 60 percent I'll be, I mean, 50% or so, about 40 to 50, 40% 40 is remaining, right? So this here, this, this, this is very important going forward because this down gap, if this down gaps don't get filled completely uh, in this week, things can still be hacked for the bulls, I think. Uh, to avoid because if we just go up and fill this gap tomorrow it'll be best for the bulls and uh, just go up and fill this gap finish this job as quickly as possible so there's gonna be no other uh, there's no other problem uh later on however when the gap gets filled first of all here's what i'm gonna say either if this gap don't get filled or gets filled it's going to act as resistance if it doesn't get filled and it acts as resistance that resistance is going to be that much stronger. If it gets built, it's still going to act as resistance and then it's still going to see a pullback. Not as much as if this wasn't filled. So it's better if that down gap is completely, completely, absolutely every single space of that level is filled. So both of those scenarios, it will act as resistance. It would be better for the bulls if the gap gets filled going forward. However, for the most smooth transition to the upside possible, if we if they can gap it over and turn this into this entire thing as an island bottom reversal, that will be the best case scenario for the bulls. And we'll have a much, much smoother transition to about 420 to fill this gap and very very quickly you will see the boss bears retreating to about 430 in this vicinity so gapping up will be the best case scenario uh at least at minimum 
buyers must go up and fill this gap the entirety of it if they do not want to face consequences going forward let's check out that oscillator so we talked about this fact that you know we've been actually talking a lot about the fact that bulls you know let me just get rid of these for now um the fact that bears are not bringing that oscillator all the way to the bottom of we spend yes yeah? so we've been talking about this for quite some time now as you can see there are a lot of spacings here right and that tells us that we've been in this uptrend and uh you know bears are weak and you can see how bulls are faithfully bring that oscillator all the way to the top of its band right and it's telling us bulls are squeezing every single ounce of their energy to making sure that this trend gets developed and so you can see look just looking at this oscillator you know that who's winning the midterm and the longer term battle here ever since they bottomed uh, back in October 12th here, 350. Ever since then, bears were not able to bring that oscillator all the way to the bottom of the span, showing weakness. And every time when that happened, though, the bulls were quickly to uh, see that opportunity and brought the price right back up. And the thing about it is, even despite the fact that we made three to four, five percent move today on the SP NASDAQ and Dow, as you can see, it, that oscillator is nowhere near overbought. And so this is gonna be the problem for the bears because normal, no, in a normal situation, you will see, when you see something you know, move like this, usually that oscillator gets all the way to the top of his band, yes? Usually yes, and usually bulls get tired. And then we see uh, consolidations, lethargic move, and then inevitably we'll see that kind of short-term correction along the way. However, right now, because of this downturn we saw last couple days right there bulls fully rested and they got all the energy left and with this kind of energy if we can see a gap above 411 or just push right through 411 plow right through it and close above it tomorrow there's a good chance we can get to 420 and 430 maybe next week just because we have so much energy here at minimum 420 is a possibility with this kind of a you know uh trajectory that we're seeing uh, with today's move and, and knowing the fact that that oscillator is nowhere near over boss it is not too late to sign up for traders club membership for cyber week black friday deal still going on until this sunday evening uh if you've been thinking about joining traders club uh, I have 50% off for investor annual plan right here. Investor annual, 50% off. And 40% uh, for quarterly for investors. Everything else will be 30% other members. Everybody, a lot of times, a lot of people ask me about the moving averages, the oscillators, what kind of oscillator I use, what are the settings, what the configurations are, what are the moving averages. All of that information is available to you as a member for any tier, but I promise you that's going to be very small benefit of what you could potentially receive with the Traders Club membership. So this is a very, very difficult level, difficult situation uh, for the sellers here. And only hope if you're a bear, if you're desperately seeking lower prices, you should pray tonight to make sure that bulls are not going to fill this gap remaining here right this gap is currently at you know that you know where we close at four seven four eight and four eleven as long as this gap doesn't get filled bears can still bring hell there is only one key to open the device so tomorrow how this market reacts to this gap area here, 407, 411, that's going to determine how this market is going to behave for the month of December. We're going to come back for you. We'll reassess the Swiss issue. Asian. Enjoy your evening. Good luck training tomorrow.